On September 12, 2000, Trish Downing's life was forever changed. She was hit by a car during a training ride with a friend in Golden. The front um, wheel of my bike hit the front bumper of the car and I was launched um, from my bike, turning in midair and land on my, landed on my back on the windshield of the car. And then I fell to the ground and um, immediately knew something was wrong because I couldn't feel my legs. In a moment, Trish went from competitive cyclist to paraplegic. It's difficult in the beginning, I won't lie. You know, I mean, there were times when I was angry and unhappy and depressed. But those moments of sadness would soon be replaced with feelings of determination. I was planning my first marathon from my hospital bed. After going through intense rehab at Craig Hospital, Trish went on to become the first female paraplegic to compete in an iron distance triathlon and the second to qualify for Hawaii's Ironman World Championship. Kind of that kind of person that I'm just gonna do whatever I wanna do no matter what. Since then, she's competed in more than 50 races. You use the same skills whether you're an able-bodied athlete or a disabled athlete. But along the way, she noticed that oftentimes she was the only athlete with a disability. So she came up with an idea to hold a camp that would allow women in wheelchairs to meet each other. All she needed was funding, so she reached out to Avon. I applied for this grant to put together um, an adventure camp, is what I first called it. Um, and it ended up, ended up being more kind of a, a fitness camp. Trish got the grant, held a few fundraisers, and finally had enough cash to create Camp Discovery. We ended up having 15 women come to camp the first weekend of October and did activities from scuba diving to hand cycling to jewelry making, spa activities. We're able to share our life experiences and our lives, you know, dealing with whatever it is, spinal cord injury, multiple sclerosis. Trish says the feedback has been tremendous. It was very empowering for a lot of women because some of them just didn't even realize they could do those kinds of fitness activities and that they were, you know, strong and capable. In fact, the women had such a great time, they told Trish they couldn't wait until the next year's camp. So Trish is once again focused on doing what she does best, redefining ABLE. Well, you know, I guess I gotta get busy.